Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to be explaining what MK does. So we're going to be using a variation of the floating sphere case. On the left hand side you can see the different parts and as we click on them those are highlighted in the main window there. So first of all we're just going to define what MK is. So the MK is essentially a, um, a variable that is used to distinguish between different types of particles. Okay. So if we go back to our main, our first sphere, you can see that our MK boundary is 1. And you can see that that is the same for the other large sphere. They're both set as MK1. So if we go to config, configure float state, sorry, you can see that we have a density of 500. And as you can see here, when we click OK, it says this will be applied to all objects with MK boundary 1. So we've applied this to our first sphere but the floating configuration will be applied to both, as you can see here. Okay, so if we go to our second sphere, or the smaller one, if we change the float state here to true and set a density of 1500, so this one will sink, again, you can see that we have the message saying that that will be applied to all MK. So on the right hand side, you can see that we have sphere and sphere 001 both with B1 next to them meaning they have the same configuration so if we just visualize it, visualize this uh, well if we have a look at the case summary sorry you can see that our sphere and sphere 001 have the same MK they have the same floating the same fill mode and the same initials So if we just have a quick look at what actually happens when we simulate this, if we press play, we can see the two spheres that had our MK of 1 behave identically and our sphere that had MK2 has behaved as we told that to do so. So we only had to apply the floating configuration to one of our spheres with MK1. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any further questions, please refer to the Jules Physics Forum or please don't hesitate to contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.